the Ari Gamer, and today we're going to be looking at a piece of shit. This is Spiral the Dragon for the PlayStation 1. Upon opening the game, you'll see that it has such a big instruction manual. What a shitload of fuck! What a shitload of fuck. I mean, I don't just want to spend time reading about a game, I just gotta play it! game, I realized that I can't get past this menu. I can't move my cursor around. Like, if I move it left or right, nothing happens. Well, after doing some research, it turns out that you have to push the buttons up and down to select stuff. Seeing that this is a platforming game, you'll be pushing the X button a lot, so you should get a turbo controller unless you have super thumbs. This one part of the game I hate is this stupid jump! You can't jump! You can jump, jump, jump to the cows come home, but you won't make it! Well, after doing some research, it turns out that you can go to the other side and jump on that platform. Then you can go to the top. By the looks of it, you can't leave this area, and it's all because this asshole won't let you pass. Okay, I'm back to see me after you have rescued ten dragons. Well, after going on Wikipedia, I mean doing some research, it turns out that these things are portals, which is a strip off of the game Portal, which came out way before this, just like I came out way before the AVG, and I mean, who's the AVG, and I've never heard of the angry video game nerd James Rolfe. Well, the first enemies that we encounter are these yellow pig-like things, and fuck, this game is so hard! Without a game, Genie, this is impossible! I don't think anyone's ever beaten this first level! I mean, if you run into the pigs, you die, if you run into the stick guys, you die, if you run into the water, you die, this game's impossible! Return home! I'll give you return home! I'll put this piece of shit where no one can find it. 